Melinda, take the blueprint from Jeff Bezos' ex-wife. Don't marry rich. Marry somebody who don't make that much money, who just works a normal job. Why was she, why couldn't she be rich? Who runs a podcast that records on Wednesdays at 8 o'clock in the morning and works at a restaurant. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> who lives oh in Houston, south side of town. Mermin. Uh, she is near the Beltway, <laughs> five minutes Mervin, from Hobby. For the right price, drives Mervin a Mini Cooper. Out, y'all. For the right Look, price, that's who you need to out. date. That's who you need to so, date. Wearing a Boys in the Hood cougars, T-shirt on May fifth. If there are any Cougars out there, and uh, you have some money and you want to trick Mervin out, he is obviously up for uh, a price. Clearly, look. <laughs> okay. Even if I'm fifty six, I'm Mervin, a, have some shame. Have some shame. <laughs> I don't care. Look, I'll take. I'll take $20 billion. I don't care. I, I don't care at all. Come on. Okay. Come so, on, Melinda. Melinda, if you call me right now, I'm picking up. You got to look. I got enough money in my uh, bank account to get to wherever you need me to fly one time. I'm going to need money to get back. But look, you want me to come out there to California or wherever you stay? I'm there. Call me. He don't even know what you look like. He said he would not recognize you First on the of, street. I look up. Wow. Wow. Anyways, so, okay, Merv, since you want to shoot your shot at uh, Melinda, let's uh, see about these folks shooting their shot at Bill. <laughs> because this DM is in my right bet they now. are. I bet they are. Be like, look, so, look, Bill. <laughs> you, know, you know the future meme where he's looking down at his phone mm-hmm. and everybody keep making, they keep doing text, toxic text with yeah. that. Like, say you were to text your ex something very toxic to make them come back when you know you ain't worth a damn right so this is the this is this is the meme and this is a caption on the meme this is what you toxic men should text your ex Hmm. seeing bill and melinda gates not excel in their relationship makes me like word i wish our windows weren't closed but you made it a powerpoint to stay away Here's hoping your future has a better outlook. <laughs> now, wow. if Mervyn got that before you, wow, that's hey, I'm that's clever. Rewind, that's clever. Again. That's clever. I think you should read it again because I want that laugh again. Yes. Wow. Toxic men. Hey, wait, no, let's not. Let's not just be. You know, let's, well, women let's, are toxic women, too. Thank women. you. Women. Shout out to my toxic queens out there. Oh my god. Toxic queens, text your man or your ex man, whatever. It's probably your ex that you keep dibbling and dabbling with. That's why you toxic. Text your man and say, seeing Bill and Melinda Gates not excel at their relationship has me like, word? I wish our windows weren't closed, but you made it a PowerPoint to stay away. Here's hoping your future has a better outlook. Drops mic. Drops mic. <laughs> I, I, I would never, obviously, ever send that. But if I was a toxic man, I would send something like that because that's that's good. That's good. Listen, people in Bill inbox going ham, mm-hmm. going ham. This one girl, she made a whole skit about how she at dinner. She goes, "Oh, is that my student loan payments on the menu?" <laughs> like, I mean, you just think about the women that throw themselves at him. This man could literally like pay for he could end he poverty could end world hunger. if he wanted to. him and jeff could end end world hunger if they wanted to if he wanted to end poverty in the united states bill gates could do it today mm-hmm. now i don't want to throw i don't want to take anything away from their philanthropic effort efforts because they have donated billions their their organizations have donated billions and in are into our community and so internationally they are were big in the COVID fight in China when it came to money and you know their organizations and don- donating and stuff like that. But still, mm-hmm. the man got a pretty coin, okay? A coin. Mm-hmm. Now let's remember, you mentioned Jeff Bezos' wife. Let's remember Mackenzie Scott. Her divorce made her one of the richest women in the world. Mm-hmm. Thirty-eight billion dollars she got from that divorce. Right. But then Jeff Bezos. Didn't care. This man about to be a trillionaire. Right. Like he's good. <laughs> Literally. Like people didn't care. Like people see his net worth now and it's like, I have to remember, dang, this is after he paid her half of his money when they got divorced. Like, yes. dang. Hey, must be um, nice. 
but uh I thought this was funny um so all of my anti-vaxxers out there maybe this will uh um, kind of play into your theory somebody tweeted a meme of Bill Gates typing on his computer and in the search box it says vaccinated single women in my area and under it everybody's arm starts dinking <laughs> because he's locating them <laughs> so if you got the COVID-19 y'all got vaccine, too much time y'all got too much time on y'all hands get a job y'all please get a job so if you got the COVID-19 vaccine Bill Gates is probably tracking down his future wife now if he doesn't Whoa. already have her Melinda and that's why she Melinda hack into that system and come to Houston South Side, almost near Clear Lake, and type in vaccinated single 27 year old black men with beards that are bald in my area. I got and you. And chubby. And chubby. I'm okay with that. Yes. <laughs> Bro, this mess is crazy. But that makes you think if she can divorce him after 27 years, three grown kids, mm -hmm. joint organizations 130 billion dollars like is there hope for any of us in relationships like uh there's hope you just know you know what it's not necessarily that there's no hope it's just you know now you got to be on your game because if women is leaving uh what? bill gates and, and years? jeff bezos yeah but you got to be on your game like this, you got to be honest, son. And to, to those of you who have commitment problems, I feel like this is really triggering you right now because with relationships, every single day you have to put in effort, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like if I got to 27 years, I would start losing some of that effort just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm comfortable and I, at this point, I don't think you're going nowhere. But obviously, folks, that's not it a good never idea. Ends. You not always got to work hard it's in your every relationship. Day. And it just sounds so exhausting. Do I want to be married for 27 years? Just so that my partner can be like, oh, I want a divorce today. Which is what I don't think she has done. It's probably but been a long time coming. Something is going on over there. Mm -hmm. And I need somebody to figure it out. And Melinda, I would love to help you figure it out. 